Hey there everyone back again with another video and in this video we are not gonna see any of the flutter tutorials or any of the other stuff but by the screen you can understand that what I'm gonna do basically yesterday I have just heard of this framework on YouTube that is the nest.js and it is a framework that is built upon the node.js and it has um, made uh, the life of a node.js developer very much easy so i'm gonna give this a try as you all know that i am a node.js guy from last two to three years the point i have started coding in backend and api stuff i have already worked on node.js and spring so i think that node.js is much more easier than spring boot and other of the api framework that are present there but uh, this thing just caught my attention that it will definitely increase the uh, development ex sorry developer experience in node.js so i'm gonna give this a try this is not a tutorial or any of this stuff but being a node.js guy i'm gonna just see what is this nest.js okay so this is nest.js.com it's the official site the link will be in the description below so in front of you i'm gonna show you what i do in order to learn new stuff so firstly yeah a site is pretty much good so just start with the documentation and firstly the site is not a single page application let it be i'm not gonna say it something like that so firstly let me open my terminal so that i can install these stuffs globally uh, sudo npm i minus g at the rate nest js slash cli enter and it will ask my password so password given let's see how much time it takes to install okay so come on yeah i don't think that it should take much time by the time it's installing let's just see netjs is a framework for building efficient scalable node.js server side application it uses progressive javascript uh, is built upon fully support types okay so we are gonna see typescript in node.js most of the node.js application are created in javascript uh, if you don't know typescript then you will definitely have some issues learning this this thing because i only know the basics of typescript uh, so let's just see uh, what things i'm gonna face and it combines element of oops okay being it's a typescript so oops will definitely be there and javascript so functional programming also be there so under the hood netjs uses the robust https framework like express okay and configured using fastify okay this is the one more thing that i have heard most of the time the fastify um i should i will always also also give this a try fastify what is this fastify let's see is it installed or not yeah so it's installed so now what i have to i have to create a uh, new project so uh, nest new and my rest app okay let's see what it takes okay so npm yard or pnp so npm okay so wow the ui for this installation is great okay let's see <coughs> sorry and they have given some of the other alternatives also if you wanna go with these things but i'm not gonna go for that uh, yeah there are other stuff i will create a just basic stuff like this and yeah by this sidebar you can see that you can also use graphql in this yeah i think it can use graphql let it install after that we will see
okay so my application is now installed so let's just go to my rest application and firstly let me see the code structure okay so let's just see like this open it up and uh, yeah so you can see that being it is a type script application so we'll do build up notify dts.config and then we have a package.json the manifest file for our application in either in node.js or any of the other stuff package.json is the thing so it has some dependency like node.js and some of the dev dependency i'm not gonna go around it so we have a src file and the point okay i see this uh, i can to some point relate my nextjs application to a uh, angular application because the controller module and the service even uh, service files even the naming convention are approximately same or i should say exactly same as they have in angular so either they are inspired by them i think they are only inspired by them because angular was released in much more time you know what in which year it was released do they have any of that stuff it's the twitter let's just see the github so yeah two years ago i don't think so that is two years ago let, let it be i'm not gonna see check whether in which year it was released i'm gonna just play with the code because to some point i can understand that yes the application is to some point similar to angular okay angular 7 angular 8 angular 11 any of the versions so this file i think it is the test file specs basically in angular we always play like this as a specs or dot test dot ts as a test file but so i'm not gonna see the test file so firstly start with the main ts okay so main ts you can see that here it is calling a nest factory it is a next thing so it goes to app modules okay so app module let's go and check the app modules yeah to some it's the, exactly the same module thing in the angular so app module will call a controller of app controller so i'm gonna go to app controller and see so in this app controller you can see that we have a get and it is a get hello string and it will return app service dot get hello so let's see what is in this thing so we are a injectable the exactly same thing or i think i don't think that injectable or dependency injection is a part of typescript i'm not sure it is a part of typescript or not but uh, this thing is to some point like that so let's see how we can run it so for running uh, it is introduction uh, they have not given how to run this file yeah npm run start so let us just call the npm run start npm run start okay okay so we have mapped each and every thing successfully netjs application started successfully and i think it is starting at the th port 3000 i have yeah it is starting at port 3000 i have seen like this so let us just post and see what we get we are getting a hello world okay so if we just change this thing hello from nest application and save will it rerun the application no okay so hmm. so we have to manually restart everything every time we change our content okay so this is one of the uh, thing that i don't like about this that we have to manually restart the application every time yeah 
so hello from nest application okay and uh, let's see can we do something so start is calling nest start okay leave it we will figure out out later word how we can do that so let's just go here and um, we have a get hello function basically the same and uh, you can even do relate it to uh, spring they have some similar concept like this can we pass something like this like get uh, hello and if we save it firstly we have i have to rerun this clear and npm run okay so we yeah you can see that application is mapped at this and if i just rerun it like that so we cannot get this uh, uh, the output that we get to 404 but the point i just type it like this get hello uh, yeah you can see that so it means that if we want to go with the routing part then we can we have to just go with the get and we can just provide something like this okay get to uh, or initial in it okay get in it and inside this we can just pass something like this and we will just return this dot app service dot get in it okay so we have saved this and in order to create something like that we have to go here and call get in it function and it is a string and it simply return string and return mm. hello world hello world come on okay so we have saved our application do we have a error okay sorry <coughs> and in order to simply like this and let's just rerun our application i think they should integrate the node mon feature in this so that um, we should not be able to um, rerun our application every time we have that and you can see that we have two outputs one is the mapped and one is this thing it means that every time you create a new route it will definitely map everything in your console and uh, we get uh, hello world and if we get hello world yeah so we have something like this and now i want to do i want to do a post call okay so let's see how we can do a post call is there something like that controllers okay we have yeah you can see that they, they have explained each and everything here and uh, uh, before I'm not gonna create any of the other pages so I'm gonna just play with around with here yeah you can just create a post call for the stuff and uh, how we can take inputs can we take inputs uh, this is the params okay we can pa pass params like this and uh, okay so let's just create a um get hello so we can just play around with we i'm gonna just gonna create a simple um stuff so it will be a get request and it will be get all users okay and now you can understand what i'm gonna do get all users 
it is a function and it will be a uh, no it will not be a string so it will be a what you can say array it will be a array of uh, what you can say uh, so in typescript we have list uh, i'm not sure about this typescript so list in typescript let me search on google okay list array yeah so we can do like this so you can something Achha, okay so we can create a string of arrays okay so we can say that string okay and if i do some of the mistakes in what you can say uh, any must return okay so we will just return uh, this dot app service dot get all users yeah and now we can save this and we will create something like this here and get all users okay so it will be a string of array and it will return um so we can create a array so we can create a string of array so i'm gonna just copy paste something like this alpha so it will be a users copy paste okay and uh, in order to do something like this i think we have to create a constructor okay so we cannot do like this so basically i'm not a big fan of angular so uh, so let's just go with the angular stuff and it will be similar to like that okay so i have just i just have to go with the constructor part so i was sure this copy and just paste sorry paste it here and uh, this one will not be here so it will be users where users it will be a string okay where so it will not take something like this so what we should do quick fix okay this dot users should be like this okay and now what we will do we will just return this users okay so before that what we will do we'll just say that uh, set or add user add user i'm gonna create and i'm gonna give it a string and uh, what i will do now um, i will just take this this dot to users dot push and i'm gonna push the data so where i'm gonna now get this data so i will get this data from here data will be of type string okay and i don't want any of that no uh, what you can say any of the return type so now what i will do i'm gonna go here and i'm gonna say add user okay so it will be a string type and it will just call return this dot app service dot add users and add users will take a data or user i should give it name as user and now what we will do here we will just go with the post 
ओके पोस्ट एंड इन साइड दिस पोस्ट वॉट वी विल डू वी विल जस्ट फर्स्टली वी विल कॉल दी एड यूजर एंड नाउ वॉट वी कैन पास हेयर वी कैन पास दी डेटा सो हाउ वी कैन पास डेटा इन नेक्स्ट जेस इन दी कंट्रोलर ओके सो प्रोवाइडर मॉड्यूल इंटरसेप्टर ओके सो वी कैन पास दिस फ्रॉम बॉडी लाइक दिस ओके सो इट सीम्स टू सम पॉइंट सिमिलर टू मी बॉडी एंड यूजर इट विल बी अ स्ट्रिंग बॉडी इट इज अ फंक्शन एंड नाउ वट इट इज सेंग वर्ड इज नॉट एक्सेप्टेबल ओके सो इट विल बी अ स्ट्रिंग लाइक दिस ओके so i think we have done approximately everything so let me just start my postman i know this video is uh, a little bit oh my god i don't have postman installed right now so what we will do uh, we'll go with the web uh, dot postman or we can just go with like this let me just install postman already have a account so i'm going to go with this okay so let's just create a new api call okay so what i'm going to do i'm going to copy this whole stuff i'm going to paste it here and see what output in order to see whether i'm going to getting the i'm getting the output right or not so okay so they are asking me to install this download Let's see if there is if there is a rush client. Okay, so we can use this. It will definitely take time. Uh, so let's just add it, and then we can use it. Yes, add this stuff. Okay, so now we are here, and now um, this come on. so we will just send it had a request error without details okay request header without details why without details okay because my server is not running okay so it's being about 23 minutes the video is being running so just it being a last thing that i am doing after that we will do nothing So okay, so we got the output. What is the response? We got a hello world, and now what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go with the post, and I'm gonna call add user, and the point I have add user, I'm gonna pass a user string. Okay, so I will pass something like this. So it will be a user. and let give it my name okay let's just send it and see whether okay so we got a internal server error why we got a push off undefined okay so we can we have a error of push dot undefined okay so i think this is the
okay so this is like this only so why it's not giving us the output so can we ha do we have to use something like this just run it and see it is taking a data again we got internal server error so so firstly let us just do one thing let us just print out the user console dot log user or let us just add a decorator here oh sorry and then we will see whether we are getting the data from the user or not and then we can go forward with it okay so let me send it again so we got the error and now we will just check okay so we are not getting the output okay so how we will do that body header preview so why it's giving us the error let me just remove it and see so we get something we definitely get error we again got the same output do we have to pass something like this mm -hmm. Just install this stuff. Let me install my postman and see whether we are getting the same output from here also. I have faced this issue in Trust Client many times. So where is my postman? Postman agent postman dot agent. This is the postman. So um, I think that I, I should conclude the point right now because um, I'm 100% sure that uh, I don't know TypeScript much. Okay, so I'm not a big fan of TypeScript yet. Okay, so I have to play with it. And I know that there are we have to create DAOs and other stuff. And you can see that we have to create something like this in order to play with around that. And uh, we will definitely see um, that thing in future but according to me if i have to choose uh, this thing firstly i have faced that we have to restart our server every time and the thing that video has shown me that yes you can do anything and you will le learn fast for that there is one prerequisite that you have to ha have to get knowledge of typescript that i don't have okay so i think that this is the learning barrier for me and um, yeah mm, i will definitely i'm not gonna solve this thing why it is getting error but uh, in future if i learn mm, this thing or if you want me to continue with this series this thing nestjs and t teach you all how we can do that because for that i also have to go around with this play around with it so if you want me to play around with it just give this video a thumbs up um, subscribe to the channel and just comment me down and i will definitely get back to you this series and i'm gonna work on this okay so if you want so yeah that's all for today thank you 
have a nice day